Good afternoon. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. James and I are at the park just before we're gonna do bath time and nap time um, this afternoon, but it is so nice out today. Right? So nice. Beautiful, sunny Chicago, high 70s, pretty choppy lake, but great for a run. I also might be going a little crazy. I don't know the science behind it, but I'm fairly certain I see a, the lighthouse in St. Joe, Michigan. So I tried zooming in, all I have is my phone on me. But like logistically, it feels like it would be right around that area. It's faint. It looks like a white little stack, very far off in the distance. So I took a photo, I sent it to the air hearts, and I was like, hey, I think I see you guys. Um, beautiful day. Pretty windy, but not like it's like good windy, like keeping you cool kind of windy. Knocking out four miles today, but I mean, just look. Look at that. Look at that. We'll see what the night holds. We might be relaxing that in. We might go out and play. I don't know, James, I think is waking up from his nap now. What's it do to the bongos over here? Love it. Love it. More and more boats are popping up. These are boats that aren't even using the river to come in because I don't think they've done the weekend bridge rises yet. But soon, May 14th, Buckingham Fountain's getting turned on, which means bridge lifts on the weekends have to be coming very soon. That's it. Yes, that is what you thought it was. That was a sleeping Sarah and James. Um, apparently when I was in my run, James woke up, Sarah took him out of the crib for his nap and they both fell asleep on the couch. So not what we were playing. We were going to originally have um, black bean burgers for dinner, but I think since Sarah's asleep and that's like her thing that she loves to make and is really good at, I'm going to make some Baja cauliflower bowls for dinner. It's so, well, one of our green, really, green leaf recipes that I'm just going to, I know I, we have the supplies, so I'm gonna get that going now. It's 5.43, it's beautiful out. I don't know if I'm going up because they're napping still, but we shall see. Gotta pause my virtual podcast. Roasting some corn and roasted peppers and garlic. We have seasoned cashews. And right here we've got some jasmine rice. In the oven is the cauliflower. Oh, it's my sleepy heads. Hello, good morning. Dad took over dinner, we're having cauliflower. Okay. Jasmine rice cauliflower with corn and tomato power bowls. Corn? Thank you. Yeah, maybe we can go on a walk after him. If he's still hungry, we can get a snack. It's 80 degrees. It is 80 degrees out. Such a tired boy. Oh gosh. Yeah. You guys both have whack hair right now. <laughs> Alright, here it is all complete. And then Sarah made up this like chickpea little salad. Oh, good job. Uh oh. Taste test on the spot. I gotta fix my hair. <laughs> I can tell it's crazy. Mmm. We're good? Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Jamesy, did you love the jasmine rice, the corn, the tomatoes? <coughs> the. <coughs> the chickpeas. The chickpeas. <coughs> cauliflower. The cauliflower. And <coughs> the peanuts? <coughs> 
That was a full plate. Plus side spoons of that. I need every last bit. He's a good kid. Did you find something left over? We are strolling the neighborhood. Sarah's got to get her pregnancy steps in. Yes, one to two miles a day. And so many places are hustling and bustling and... Proceeding. Yeah. Okay. Feels so good. So when we were driving yesterday, I saw this park and was like, we should go play there. And this is where we ended up. Oh, him's mad. He's got to put his shoes on. Go have fun. So I am officially single digits away from our due date. It's the 9th, so nine more days until May 18th, which is also my birthday. Um, but I am feeling good. I do. Jay-Z's making friends. Oh, you make friends? This is called Lincoln Park. Um, but I'm going to rest a little bit after our walk and then go play. This is a really nice park that does feel more geared towards little kids. Look at you, big kid. Nice. <laughs> what? It's an elephant? Gosh, I have to do one more thing and then we'll play, okay? Oh, a nice stick. Why is Sarah gonna do me like that? I'm sitting there playing with James, having a good time, and then all of a sudden she goes, well, Jessica Bloodgood, one of our ACS friends, just put on her Instagram story that there's only three spots left for Team Determination for Chicago Marathon 2022. 2022. And I was like, all right, let me see your phone really quick. And then I went and I signed up for the Chicago Marathon through American Cancer Society, so. Here comes Chicago Marathon 2022. Fundraising information to come soon. Only for food. What's what's your hair doing? Baseball hat. Like your apples, Evie? Yeah, show that to Eve. What you got? Oh, lavender. Gonna make her calm down. I had this place all ready for bed. We went to go put James on it. Come on, the lights are on like it's party time. Where's Sarah at? Alexa, Christmas off. What you doing? Stretches. Oh, I turned the lights off in the living room. Okay. Do you want to eat our chocolate car <laughs> Is that out there? Yeah, in the room. In our room. Oh, ho, ho. check it out. Queen Elizabeth II in the house. In the royal house. Monday, May 9th. Let us not take ourselves too seriously. None of us has a monopoly on wisdom. Well, that's kind of ironic coming from the head of a monarchy. Talking about monopolies. Monarchy. Is anyone going to tell me my hair looks like that? Your hair looks like that. He's 30 years old when you have to take Tums before you go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm not 30 yet. It's good to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home.
Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, please come back tomorrow. James and I are already out and about today. It's like 11 a.m. Hoping to get him tired earlier so you get a nap earlier because we are going to be heading to the suburbs today to see our nephew Grant play baseball. This is so lovely out and uh, it is so great to see our neighborhood getting ready for Pride next month. I showed the, the schedule for the fest and the performances. Um, I'm just so excited. Sorry, I had to take a little pause. Jamesy came over to our stroller so we got some water. It's toasty, it's 80, it feels so good. Very much so glistening in this in this hot day. So good. He must have really needed the water. It is hot. It feels so good. And again, just seeing seeing all the signs getting ready makes it feel like summer might actually be coming. Let's see if he'll keep this hat on. We need some extra protection with this sunshine. 80 degrees today. Having a bit of a busy day at work, but um, all for good things, because it's like busy. I'm trying to stop some fires, get some stuff ready for when I'll be out. Um, I reached out to like the vendor that we use to file for my leave, for my hospital endowment coverage. Um, been meeting with my team members to make sure that they know what to expect. Um, Cause it could be another two weeks still, but it could be tonight. You know, you just never know. And I am so want to just be overly prepared to just be able to let my team know, hey, we're going to the hospital, baby's on his way. Hey, baby's born. As of this date, I'll be, I'm, I'm gonna be out now for the next, until this date. And then shut off my computer and be done for four weeks. Um, Sarah's at the park with James. I'm about to hop into another meeting. Just wanna say, hey, got the windows open, fans on. It's actually hot, which um, does happen. It's not like it doesn't happen. I'm not trying to say it doesn't happen in Chicago, but it just hasn't happened in, you know, more than half a year, probably like seven and a half months where it hasn't been like this, so it feels good. But it makes me miss Disney, which is probably why I have the resort TV on. Um, but it feels good for a Tuesday. snack at a different park we're all over the place today we have to wait until peter is like we want to hold it i'm quite, quite red um we have to wait like for in between peter's meeting so that he can help me with the stroller um but this is good we're we're nearby enough we're gonna take a seat i got myself a little drink oh my gosh i look Post. Um, then maybe we'll have a nap time. Yeah. You love raspberries. This is also the first time that he's had the veggie straws, um, and he was loving those too. So funny, like hearing other people converse just in public about like how it's so hot, how it's like we went straight from like cold to summer. Um, the next week, it's we're supposed to get back down into the 70s, but. That is Chicago for you. You just never know. Need a wipe? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Guess whose plan backfired? <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. <laughs> this is out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Did not want to nap. <laughs> I found that you were Peter just put his hat on, but I thought he was putting pouring a 
water bottle over here. <laughs> I don't know. I just sneezed twice on the deck and I was like, what did I have? <laughs> Maybe. We always show this view, but like. It's, there's no view that's better. Come on. I used to be a hater of this view. You uh, did? Not a hater, but like I just thought coming from the south it was better. Uh-huh. But now I think. Well, there's just such a young and naive <laughs> There's definitely a difference between this view and then like coming from like the northwest side. Yeah, but you know what the big difference is? What? This is the best view. We are sitting in some pretty nasty traffic headed south, but the perk is that James will get to nap. We kind of took the loss after the morning slash afternoon. It was so dark under that bridge. Um, we just basically snack, so we'll have to have something else for dinner, but just kind of <sighs> let it be. So we'll be there in like, boy, 45 minutes. It's usually how long it takes from our apartment to get to the south side. I love, we love Dan Ryan traffic. It's worse than I have for. I think so. Ready, we're at the same field we were at for Violet's game a couple weeks ago. It's a nice little fundraiser for the south side. Just running around the ballpark. Looking at all the big kids. Having a blast. Say go, Grantee. Yay! Big kids playing? You could play one day. We're about to leave and I just realized that there's a Chicago Empire sign on that field right there. That's Grant's uh, soccer club. That's pretty cool. I do remember when we were here for Violet's softball game that Grant was over at that field at a practice. So we were on the south side so we came over to the Sicards and Peter is bringing us a surprise. All right, going to Rainbow Cone because it's 84. And it's open, and that's what you do. Look at this awesome sign. <laughs> Classic. Here we go. So we got some for the cigars as well. You just, it's not, nothing more Chicago-y than Rainbow Cone. Also, it closes in 15 minutes, I think. What is it? She has to have everybody's cone. He's, he's grabbed at one point almost everybody's cone tonight. I think he didn't understand the concept of an ice cream and cone. And now he's got it down. And so now he needs all the cones. <laughs> oh, goodness. We are home. And guess who didn't fall asleep on the car ride home? We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>